Hey everyone, welcome to Happy Groomer. My name is Caitlin and this beautiful girl here is Miss Raya. She is going to help me talk about brushing out your shedding pups today and hopefully stay on this table. Um, Raya is a four-year-old Aussie German Shepherd mutt with plenty of shedding hair to spare. We are going to show you how to use some tools to help you tackle that extra hair as well as share some tips and other things you can do to help maintain your pup's coat and keep all that hair off your furniture during the shed season. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so let me go ahead and get started to show you some tools here. This here is the Furminator brush. It's going to be a really good tool to help you pull out that loose fur and undercoat that may get trapped in your baby's top coat. Um, this over here is a cat comb. This sounds weird to be using on your pup, I know, but because the teeth are so close together, it does help pull out that um, undercoat and any thick hair that may be caught under there. There is a few more tools that you can use um, that I may make a video about at a later date, but for now I'll get you started with these two. Now that Miss Rhea has sniffed out the tools and figured out what we're going to be using on her today, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to use this cat comb later, so we'll show you that in a little bit. So you want to start by holding the skin pretty tight so you don't rake over any loose skin. You don't want to hurt your pup during this process. This should be a good bonding experience for the both of you. As you can see, the Firminator is grabbing all of that loose undercoat pretty well without making your baby go bald. If you use this paired with Firminator shampoo and the conditioner, it's going to help reduce that shedding up to about 80%. Nothing is 100%, but 80% is pretty darn good. I do make sure that after the bath, um, that the dog is fully dry because brushing with the Firminator brush, if the coat is still damp or wet in any way can damage their coat. Um, another thing to be aware of is that the Firminator does have a blade on it, so I typically only recommend brushing your pup with this about one to two times a week for about 10 to 20 minutes each time to avoid any kind of irritation for their skin, um, to avoid overbrushing, you don't want to damage their coat. Um, the bathing part, I'd only recommend about once a month to avoid drying out their skin. Their coat is a lot different than our hair and their skin is a lot different than our skin, so there is a little bit difference there. Shedding season is typically in the spring and later on in the fall, so you'll probably be doing this more during those times, but I'd still suggest keeping them on a pretty um, standard routine to get them through all seasons to avoid any compacted fur and to help your pup be at ease during the process by making it a part of their normal routine. That way they don't see it as a punishment or anything like that. It's just something that they do with you and it's something that keeps them healthy and happy as well. So just real quick, I'll show you how the cat comb can also help and maybe be something that you start off with as a cheaper alternative if you don't want to spend the money for a Firminator brush right off the bat. And this is something you can use in between the Firminator brush outs as well to give the skin a little break. Like I said, you don't want to overuse that Firminator brush because it does have a blade on it. Another thing you can do to help your pup shedding is to add a little bit of olive oil or flaxseed oil to their diet. And you can also try increasing their omega-3 fatty acid intakes with salmon oil. Make sure you do consult your vet and talk about what's best for your baby when it comes to adding anything to their diet as well. What I absolutely wouldn't recommend is shaving your double coated dog as this is going to damage their coat and running the risk of it never going back the same or at all. You run this risk every single time you shave them so it may grow back properly the first time but it may not the second time. So I just avoid it altogether. Shaving your pups can also put them at risk for sunburn due to lack of protection from the sun and it also helps them regulate their body temperature and so it's just best to maintain the coat and make sure it's clean and free of that undercoat to make sure your baby is happy and healthy and doesn't get a sunburn um, or anything bad like that without that protection that they naturally have. 
we just want to thank you so much for joining us today and we hope you enjoyed the things you have seen in this video if you'd like to keep watching stuff like this please give us a like and subscribe to our page and i will be sure to post any links to the products below we'll see you next time